Hiya folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well, and welcome back to unboxing videos. Yes, I did say I had one for you, uh, but this wasn't the one I was thinking of, but never mind. Uh, we've got something else to unbox. So, uh, you're probably wondering, well, why this? You, you can quite clearly tell what it is, it's a London Underground train. Uh, basically, just to cut a long story short, uh, my bedroom's being decorated. Well, I'm eventually going to decorate it in a uh, with a London theme, um, red and grey, and I've got like uh, different London things that are similar colours to all go into a theme. So uh, you can't really have a London without a London Underground train, can you? So uh, yeah, I've decided to buy one. And here it is. So uh, we'll we'll have a look at the, we'll have a little look at the box. We'll we'll get the train out and we'll have a look at the train itself. And uh, now I'll give you my thoughts on it. So where shall we begin? So it's uh, who who's it made by? Does it say on the box? No. All I can see is uh, British Street Scenes, uh, ages three plus. The Union Jack there. Not too sure what uh, what stock of tube train this is. Uh, I know what it's meant to resemble. Is it? The, uh, are they used on the central line? I, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's get down to it. So there's a little bit of information on the back, which I'll read now, and then I'll uh, I'll turn it round so you can have a look yourself. So it's uh, it's made actually by uh, Richmond Toys Limited, and it says on the back, <coughs> excuse me, Richmond Toys Limited. Oh, hang on. Oh, there. Yeah. Let's try again. Richmond Toys Limited is pleased to introduce our new range of die-cast models, British Street Scenes. This new series includes London buses, taxis and underground tube trains. Also available, the London bus and taxi gift sets and our London trio gift set comprising of bus, taxi and underground train. Emergency services, ambulances, fire engines, police cars, police 4x4 and air ambulance. Richmond Toys, www.richmondtoys.co.uk So that's all the information I've just read out for you on the back. And you've got their... Uh, Website down there, Richmond Toys. I'm getting a little bit snivelly. The weather doesn't seem to know what it's doing. Like it's lovely and sunny today. Yesterday it was grey and rainy. Today it seems to be a bit sunny. Okay, you've probably had time to look at that. I'm just having a look at the train. Uh, yeah, it just says British street scenes on both of them. Uh, Diecast collectible. It says that on both sides, so I think there's nothing more to do. Let's open it up and get it out. Now I'm presuming I might have to unscrew it from the cardboard. <coughs> Excuse me, let's, let's have a look underneath. Oh, okay, that's... Um, Easy enough. There's a, there's one screw there. One screw there. So let me do that then. Uh, I'll try with the screwdriver first. Just see if that will work. Might be a bit small though. I don't know. I can't say. I'll just have to hold it up for a moment. I think. 
might be a bit too small. Oh, hang on now. I think it's working. The, tube, the train feels like it's loosening a bit. This might do it. Oh, I've gone. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, hang on. I need to get that off there. Ah, there we go. Don't want that on it. Right. Well, that's got that sorted. Uh, however, I'm going to save the box after we've done this review. I'm going to put the train back in the box, keep it nice and uh, nice and tidy. So let's have a look at the train then. Now, which side is which? Uh, I believe. Well, the uh, the red end is going to be the front of the train. So there's the front of the train. It's not really detailed. Uh, they could have detailed the lights a little bit, couldn't they? The headlights. You can see them there. Again, I don't know what stock this is meant to be based on. It could be the stock that's used on the central line. Uh, you know, with the big windows. <laughs> There's lots of different um, stocks, isn't there, for different lines. <coughs> It could be an old, a form of Victoria line stock. And then you've got the driver's entry door on both sides, because obviously some of the stations are on opposite sides to each other. You've got one set of passenger doors. I just love like the the blue, white and red. I think it's lovely, especially when you see them like travelling. And they go past you, it's lovely. And a window there, and another set of doors. And a window. And a single door. And then obviously that's where the the next carriage would hook up. <clears throat> so we'll have a look. At that, uh, there is a little coupling there, actually, look. That you can position. So, you know, if you've got another one of these, you could possibly, I don't know, maybe try and hook them together. You could make two. I'm actually going to try that because I've got another one of these. Um, not in this colour. If you refer back to that uh, London Models video that we'd done a while ago with the bus, the taxi and the tube train. Um, you'll find it in this playlist anyway, if you have a look. can't remember what it was labelled under, but that come with a tube train. Um, in a United Airlines sponsorship colour. And uh, it's the same scale as this, same, same type, so... Uh, I might be able to connect that one to this one. Which I'm going to try. Really, really nice, really nicely done there. Um, doesn't seem to have the roundel on it though, the, uh, the underground logo. I thought they would have put that on. And there's a, a little bit of wheel detail, but you know, a little bit of... Uh, bogey detail there, but uh, you wouldn't see that anyway, would you? Uh, free running wheels. Is it a pull back and go, or is it? No, it just it just roll. It's rolling wheels. And then let's have a look at the roof. The roof's quite nicely detailed. Look. Presuming that's what they actually look like. Yeah, re really nicely detailed models. Just a shame, isn't it, about the... Uh, they could have detailed it a little bit more. But... Um, It's all right for what it is, you know. It's uh, for the purpose that I'm going to use it for. It's just going to be like a, a static, 
well, it doesn't move on its own anyway, you know what I mean? It's just going to be like a static model for ornamental purposes. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's a shame they didn't, they don't, I don't know actually whether you could get like middle sections for these. You could like get two of these and then like a middle section and you could, you know, connect them all together and you could make like a little three carriage train. Uh, I don't know whether you could actually do that. But as I said, I'm going to try and connect my other one to this that I've got and hope to make a uh, a, a, two, a two car multiple unit it'll look a bit strange um, because obviously this is the correct colour scheme and then my other one is like blue with uh, United Airlines written on it but uh, <clears throat> if it can be done why shouldn't it be done? Let's just have a quick look inside then, see if there's any... Oh, there is. There's a little bit of detailing in there. To the seats. A little bit of seat detailing. Uh, nothing much on the roof. Thought there'd be like some grab rails or something you could hold on to. Uh, I presume that part there in the window, that would have the, the map on. Uh, or the step the the line map but yeah there's some there's, well is there some there yeah there's some there yeah there's the seat detailing both sides yeah that's quite good and uh well, let me just show you like it does it runs really easy look you know this is just on my duvet but it runs really well it's, it's not a bad length actually you know like if i was to connect my other one to this it, it'd be quite a, a you know a decent length train so i'm quite happy with it i do like the the underground i've uh, been to london a couple of times Whoops. Been to London a couple of times and always uh, rode on the tube. Uh, I think my favourite's possibly the uh, the Jubilee line with the, uh, the 1996 stock operating. I just love the sounds that it makes. But I think this concludes this review. There's nothing much, uh, nothing much more I can say about it. Just have a, a last little look at it, eh? Yeah, but there's nothing more I can say about it. Um, it's a lovely model. I think it's very accurately detailed. They could have added the little roundel, you know, that says underground on it. Um. That would have been a little bit more realistic. I presume they would have had the London Underground logo on them at some uh, somewhere. Uh, maybe a little bit of headlight detailing. That would have been not nice. even if it was just like just painted, you know, like just painted silver or something, you know, just to give the impression that the uh, the headlights were switched on. That'd look a little bit better. Uh, but. Apart from that, it's a nice little model, you know, remember, it's mainly for, it's for play purposes, really. Or you can just display them like I'm going to. But it's, uh, it's really nice. It's a really, really good length. I'd say it's about, oh, I think I've, what, I think I've measured it before. It's about, about just over 10 centimetres, I think. But yeah, it's a very nice model. A very nice model. I'm glad I bought it so I could uh, so I could do an unboxing and review for you. So, I suppose I better wrap this up and get this uploaded for you then. 
So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to give, uh, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the channel so more people can subscribe. And uh, also, don't forget, uh, I haven't said this on videos, but uh, for those of you out there who use TikTok, uh, providing that you're uh, 16 or over, of course, uh, please feel free to follow me on TikTok at NathanHughes27. That's the at symbol. Nathan Hughes, all one word, lowercase, N-A-T-H-A-N-H-U-G-H-E-S, and then 27. Follow me on TikTok if you use it. And until the next YouTube video, whenever that may be, I'm not too sure now. Uh, stay safe, take care, and I will bid you farewell.